One thing you have in common with Jesus, you both experienced rejection. But Jesus came to put an end to the rejection. That in our foundational relationship with God, in our spiritual foundation, we only get solid in God when we are no longer feeling rejected that Jesus has carry that for us, and it's the very cornerstone of everything that God is building in our life spiritually. Everything is going to really rely on being in alignment in your life. It's going to rely on you being accepted by God the Father, you feeling that he loves you and cares about you. How was Jesus re rejected? He was rejected by the elders, according to Mark 8, 31. He was rejected by his generation Remember Jesus said, beware when all men speak well of you. When you're accepted by this generation, you're no longer acceptable to God. This generation needs to make some changes in order for them to be accepted by the Father. And those changes are going to begin in their relationship with Jesus as opposed to looking for everybody else's acceptance. Somewhere along the line, we've got to start looking for God's. But first, he must suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. One of the things that our young people need to realize is that if you're experiencing rejection in school and with your friends and all that, that's because we lived in a rejected generation. They're like a bunch of empty buckets trying to fill each other up. God wants you to have his acceptance. You believe that God can give you so much acceptance that rejection from anybody doesn't bother you? Wow. Sometimes we're trying to get rid of the bad instead of filling up on the good.